Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, welcome. I know that we actually have a few new subscribers from Juicy Jazz, hey girls. So today's video is going to be, oh my God, this is like, I think one of the funnest videos I've ever done. Actually, a few days ago, I was going through my personal Facebook and I was just like reminiscing on old pictures and I was just looking at my makeup like before this all this was going on you know i've always had a huge passion for makeup and i started years and years and years and years ago and i saw this picture that just brought me a flood of memories an old friend of mine that made me do this well she didn't make me do it but she told me she challenged me to do this rainbow eyeshadow look and i'm gonna post a picture right here it is like cringy but that was about eight ten years ago and oh my god when i saw that picture i was like I have to recreate this. I have to recreate this picture and turn it into a better version of me, what represents me um, as a makeup artist and how much my skills have grown and it is insane. So as you can see, we did a rainbow look. Now, I am not like crazy in love with this look. I don't know if it's because I just personally don't feel comfortable wearing it, but it is what it is. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video and yeah. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can stay updated with all my videos. I upload Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, so you never miss a video. Make sure you subscribe. And with that said, let's go ahead and jump into this cringy before and after. <laughs> I'm just staring at this picture. It is so cringy, you guys. My brows were not done. My eyeliner, I don't know what was going on. My eyes look red. My lashes look horrible. There's no concealer. There's no foundation. Like, what was I thinking? Look at that. I mean, huge improvement, right? <sighs> okay. I actually haven't done a rainbow eyeshadow in such a long time so fingers crossed that we can actually recreate this and make it so much better and yes the nails are off I don't know if I'm going to pop them on for a while I kind of feel like I just want to leave my little nubs so let's take the James Charles Unleash Your Inner Artist palette and we are going to take the deepest purple which is this one right here I'm going to do is apply that to the crease right there and I am going to pack it on these brushes are so good at packing on the color as you can see they pick up so much and they deposit the perfect amount onto the crease this picture is eight years old and let me tell you really quickly I'm going to try and talk and work at the same time because I cannot multitask apparently picture was taken in 2011 now 2011 I was still I think I was still single I hadn't met my man yet I didn't have my little girl I was living with my sister at the time and I was actually working at a call center I hated that job it was one of the worst jobs that I had but it was so much fun because I get I got to meet so many cool people um, I am quickly going to blend this lightly upwards just a little bit. I'm not going to bring it up too high because I am going to go in with my second color, which is probably going to be pink. Like I said, I hated that job. It was sucked. And so I met this girl. Her name is Elena. I'm not going to say her last name because uh, I'm not trying to get in trouble for putting people's information out there. But she was one of the supervisors from the call center and I started hanging out with her and she was such a cool person. And back then I was already into makeup. I was always known for being like the cute girl from work. And I don't mean like pretty, like I was always like dressed up. So that's what I mean by cute. Like I was always arreglada, you know? And I was always ready, you know? Like my hair was done. Back then I used to wear extensions. So I used to use like 10 pounds of extensions because I had so much hair. I used to do my makeup super colorful. If I can find pictures of back when I used to work there, I will insert them here. And she loved the way I did makeup, which by the way was not good. And so I remember that she had, I had her on Facebook and she had tagged me on this like rainbow look that somebody did or something like that. I really don't remember too much of it. 
But I remember she told me, uh, she was like, I dare you to do this challenge. This was before challenges were a thing on YouTube, okay? She's like, I dare you to do this uh, rainbow challenge. You should try it and post it on Facebook. I was like, okay, girl, I got you. So I went into my little makeup, a tiny makeup collection that I had back then. And I'm pretty sure, I'm like 90% sure that I did a look or the rainbow look that I did was using these brushes or this makeup palette that I was obsessed with by the brand Shaney Cosmetics. Really quickly, I'm going to pick up the hot pink and I'm just going to throw it into the crease to help me blend this purple. Anyway, so yeah, so she, she told me, you know, you should do this, you should do a rainbow look. And so I thought I did an amazing job, but now looking back, girl. Now what I'm gonna do is I am taking the white shade, which is this one right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply that underneath the brow bone. You guys know like this is, this is my trick, this is my thing. I like to apply this right here. A, it's going to make your brows look a lot sharper if you don't clean them up. I personally clean my brows up every single time. It's like a habit. And second of all, if you ever bring your shadow up too high, apply a white or a vanilla shade underneath the brow bone and it's also going to help you bring down the shadow if you don't want it to be like so up high on your brow. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut my crease that way I can start applying like the rainbow colors on the actual lid. I'm just going to take a flat little brush. This is an AOA Studio E121 brush. This is actually from that $1 um, what's it called? It's like a website, Shop Miss A. They have a whole bunch of super affordable brushes. So I'm just gonna do my cut crease. Now I'm gonna go in with the red color and I'm keeping my eyes closed because I don't want it to like uh, start creasing on me. I'm gonna start off with the red and then we're gonna do the orange. I had to look up the rainbow because I totally forgot what it looks like. First we're gonna go in and do orange, then we're gonna do yellow. Um, maybe green and a little bit of blue to finish off the look. So I'm just gonna zip and let you guys watch. Now on like my old picture where I literally had a horrible eyeliner, I'm not going to do an eyeliner today because I feel like it would take away from the magic that is happening in the eyes. So what we're going to do is I've already applied my mascara and in that picture, there's no lashes. Actually, I think I was wearing lashes, but I would coat them so heavily with mascara. Don't know why I would do that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these lashes. This is also by Lash Kitty and Daisy E on Instagram. It's a collab. I'm gonna take this style up here, which is called Dreams. I did line my lips with my Italia lip liner and soft brown before. I would not use lipstick. I would literally wear full face of eyes, like bright colorful eyes, no lipstick, like who was she? <laughs> I'm gonna go in with Sugary Sweet by Carity Cosmetics. And then I am going to top it off with a gloss. I just feel like this look requires a gloss because the eyes are so matte. So I'm gonna take the ELF Lip Plumping Gloss in the shade Peach Bellini. Here you have it, you guys. This is such a bright, colorful, bold look. I am not like completely in love with the way that this look turned out. I don't know what it is. If you guys wanna let me know what you would change about this look, Definitely let me know in the comment section, but I do have to say that it's a huge improvement from eight years ago. So let me know what you guys think. This is such a crazy like transformation like before and after. Yeah, if you guys want to share with me your makeup horror stories, I would love to read them. 
Thank you guys for joining me today and I hope you guys have an amazing day or night wherever you are. Love you guys so, so much and yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!